Human remains continues this morning along the Blue River in Independence. Two men found the remains of a hand in some rocks along the Little Blue River yesterday. Take a look at the picture. Those are the skeletal remains. Jenna Hanchard is following this search from Independence. Uh, we're right now search crews are bringing out cadaver dogs. They're looking around. This is going to be the second day of looking for more remains. But we are told right now that they do not know who the body belongs to. So let's go to Jenna Hanchard to give us the latest. Jenna. Yeah, police are looking into missing persons reports to see if there's any link to the human remains that they found. They found them about a mile down back behind me. There were two guys that were kayaking yesterday, and they found the human remains of a hand and an arm. Now, earlier this morning, police brought out a canine unit. Police are looking into every area around Little Blue River and Independence to see if they see any more human remains. Yesterday, two guys, Tyler Adam and Justin Hardy, said they found them while they were kayaking on Little Blue River in the area of Nessie. Road and Mize Roads around 3 p.m. on Monday. Adam said they spotted the hand in a cluster of rocks about three feet above the water line. He said that it looked like they had been there for quite some time and that they thought that they saw other bones as well. Now, police have set up a staging area right behind me, and the sheriff is supposed to be here around 11:45 in order to give us some more information. Right now, we're still waiting for lab results to see if it's a man, if it's a woman. We don't know at this point how long the remains have been out there, but we'll bring you more information as it becomes available. We're live in Independence, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.